We have this saying in Japanese. Bunburyodo. To wear the pen as a mastery, as a sword. Growing up, I had no idea how this philosophy would shape my life. Committed to martial arts, I felt destined to pursue a professional classic Jiu-Jitsu path. Until one day, I saw a documentary about ancient Egypt on television. It was a spark. When I finished high school, I decided to go there and find it for myself. I had to see more. I spent the next two decades studying ancient Egyptian history, excavating the ruins and scaling the stones of the pyramids, seeking answers through the tenacity and the disciplines I was learning from martial arts. I explored every nook and cranny, with each step falling deeper and deeper into Egypt's unsolved mysteries. But the more I looked, the less I saw. I realized I needed to find a new vantage point to do the unthinkable, to stop looking. Bumburyodo. I expected combination of skills and passions paving a new way forward. Following this philosophy, I assembled the most diverse team to explore the Giza Plateau from a different angle. We went digital. Experimenting with software engineering and mathematics, we started mapping the areas with cameras and 3D scanners, reconstructing these ancient worlds through the powerful photogrammetry and drones. Painstakingly stitching 30,000 images together, uncovering its essence, point by point, stone by stone. Lifting the veil of the hidden secret, the ghost of the past takes shape. My teammates are right beside me, masterfully welding arts, mathematics, and technology. Together, we can see further than ever before. Bunburyodo, to me, diversity of the skill is a way of the true explorer.